tied up with the use of suratur is Derrida's concept of trace. Trace refers to the mark, track, or impression left in the mind by a word's absence. Derrida's concept of trace highlights the temporal aspect of a word. While the word appears in the present, the trace in consciousness includes not only the meaning in the present, but also its disconnection from future and past meanings. Although not explicit in the word itself, these displaced meanings are exposed when the word is explored under erasure. There is a temporal dislocation between what the word embodies in the present and what it contains in the future under the magnifying glass of deconstruction. Derrida was heavily influenced by Freud and often refers to the leading form of psychotherapy in his day, psychoanalysis. In the article Freud and Derrida, Rosara Martinez Ruiz discusses how the temporal differentiation of trace aligns with Freudian thought about the temporality of psychoanalysis. Freud acknowledged that the psychic representation used in psychoanalysis also neglects to consider any future psychological situation. Psychoanalysis certainly indicates the traumatic past, as is evidenced in Freud's insistence on formative childhood experiences, but a psychoanalytical snapshot in time does not provide future iterations of traumatic disruption. It doesn't include the trace of the psychoanalytic snapshot, and Freud understood this. Acknowledging that psychic concepts and linguistic signifiers are bound to repeat in the future also led Derrida to what he called hauntology. Hauntology, which of course plays on the common philosophical approach to meaning ontology, but makes it haunting, states that ontology always contains a future ghost in the form of future repetitions and meanings that are undiscernible in the present. Ruiz talks about this in the following passage. The ghost haunts by inhabiting a place without occupying it. This is how a specter inhabits what is. It doesn't overfill, but it's nonetheless there. It makes itself noticed without presenting itself, without showing itself. But it makes things and produces effects. Just like the ghost that does not present itself in the room, but moves objects and in so doing makes noises. The ghost can also come from the past or from the future. But the threat of his haunting is always that it will present itself. In other words, it is a promise that will be fulfilled in the future. This hauntological ghost, that lives in the trace of a word under erasure, aligns with modern clinical and traumatological thought that describes trauma, even intergenerational trauma, as a ghost that can live in the gaps of our discourse, in what is not spoken. Like the undisclosed meaning exposed in Sue Rutcher text, the clinician must listen carefully to what the client says, under erasure, to expose the hauntology of their present psychic state. They must smoke out the ghost of traumatology, the unspoken subconscious material that returns to disrupt the balance of the traumatized. Reading and writing surature trains the mind to hunt for the ghost.